this film is led by women and directed by women and produced by women, that's a really rare thing. It's not a common occurrence for a film like this to be made, let alone about this subject matter. Vote for women. The power is in your hands. No one cares, love. Some of us do, Mrs. Coleman. So it's like you're bleeding cake hole. <laughs> it's not a film strictly about politics or about sitting in a room hashing out issues. It's about action. And that was the point. They were going to get stuff done by being heard and being louder than everybody else. This film is about women gaining a voice, wanting a voice, fighting for a voice. The need to vote and the need for female equality has never felt more personal and more relevant to be discussed. We have reached a state of anarchy we can no longer ignore. Punish those responsible. These are people who have a cause for which they would lay down their lives. Here were a group of women fighting inequality, turning to acts of civil disobedience to achieve it. It all felt incredibly exciting and resonant. This was the time to tell this story. First, we found Carrie Mulligan. She's someone who I think has an incredible ability to inhabit a role. We're in every home. We're half the human race. You can't stop us all. She's got such an extraordinary presence on camera. Oi, Mrs. Miller. Bet you wish you were a man. Yeah, bet you wish you were an old. <laughs> Amory Duff brings this rawness and authenticity and energy to Violet. If you want me to respect the law, then make the law respectable. You feel at the beginning of the film she's a no-holds-barred individual, but actually... Cut that! She does have limitations. This Mrs Pankhurst, she asked us. Mrs Pankhurst asked too much. Helena Bonham Carter, I was very excited about seeing her do something we don't see her often do. I blow up a house, I do letter bombs. We shall cut into the heart of communications. I also teach jujitsu. <laughs> we had Emmeline Pankhurst in the film and we wanted an icon to play an icon. And Meryl Streep appeared on this balcony and gave this speech. Never underestimate the power we women have to define our own destinies. It wasn't a case of all men being villains, you know. My job is to enforce the law. It all means nothing to me. I've had no say in making the law. Some of the great scenes with Carey have been with teasing out his own feelings about what she is sacrificing in embracing this activism. They were entrenched in various ideas and values of their time. The men are trapped in a masculinity that is dying out because they don't have any role models about how to evolve into a different kind of man. There are many, many people fighting inequality. I think it feels incredibly resonant and topical. We have equal rights here in terms of voting, but the rest of the world is in such a different place and that this movement isn't over. I'm worth no more, no less than you. And we will win. Never surrender. Never give up the fight. <laughs>